airfield. There's a few plants in there and a nice big drag strip. Right guys, he's a Royal Air Force bomber. I'm not sure if I can climb into this uh, plane or not. They did used to be ladders. Right, under here would have been where they used to put the bombs. These have been abandoned for some time, these planes. Pretty cool. Looks like one of the wings have fell off down there. where the uh, jets would have been. I say all the parts of this plane has been stripped out. So I'm going to see if we can get into this airplane so I never did it last time so hopefully I can get on the wing and actually get into it. So we'll get the close and see what we can do. That's where the uh, pilot would have sat in up the top. Now I'm hoping I can climb up and get on this. I'm going to have a look round, see if I can uh, see a way on top of it or in it. Because I can see how you get in it, but I've just got to find something to climb on if I can. If not, we'll move on to the next plane. So this is Urbex Explore. Sadly, uh, Exploring Doors couldn't get up here because it's a bit too high for her to climb. So I'm doing this on part of uh, her. So as you can see, I'm on top of this amazing aeroplane. Some kind of old bomber. And uh, there's ex, uh, let's explore Lee. So I'm just going to uh, do a quick tour around here. I'm to while you get it. Yeah. It's going to be a bit dodgy, so I'm afraid. I do apologise. Getting that old. There you go, babe. So this is inside this amazing plane. And as you can see, it is a huge plane. They would have uh, lived in here, slept in here, ate in here, washed in here. And, you know, they would have done absolutely everything in this plane. While there was like flying to other countries and stuff, and. Uh, well, I'm guessing uh, dropping bombs and stuff, whether it was in like the the Cold War or something like that. I'm sure Explore Me Jewels will uh, do a bit of research on that. And as you can see, this would have been all the uh, controls, which have all been ripped out now, sadly. I think this would have been the radio, the radio area where they would have done all the radio in and stuff. So they would have a seat there. And so someone would have been doing radio in here. And uh, so there would have been seats here as well. So there would have been quite a few crew in here. This is where the uh, pilots would have been and the co-pilot. Sadly the seats have been removed and so have the, uh, the steering mechanism. But all this stuff still works. I mean these, st these still uh, work. Whether they actually uh, operate the flaps. That, uh, I don't know if you can see out there. I don't think they do. Which uh, you've got the four engines, so you're in like one, two, three, four, you know, all the, that different stuff. You know, and in fact, it operates the other side as well, so all that still links and works, which is amazing. So, I'm just going to see what's down here. So, this is where the gunners would have been. So, you'd have had uh, multiple gunners down here. So, you'd have had a gunner sitting on this, t on the uh, with the gun either side, so you had a gun that side and a gun that side and uh, in fact I'm not actually I'm not too sure whether 
you'd have had uh, three gunners here because I think you'd have one sat there, one sat there, and a main one looking through here, maybe as like a, a lookout or something like that. I'm I'm not really too sure, to be fair. But that's pretty cool. Like, you've still got the cartridge casing that comes down, which would have uh, perhaps fed the gun with the bullets, or it would have emptied the bullets like onto the floor, the casings and stuff. Not too sure about that. And uh, that would have been another look at right down there. Which is pretty awesome, to be fair. Sadly, there's no bullets in here, like you know, there's no uh, casings or anything because they do make good souvenirs, to be fair. Have a look at the back of the plane. And I'll hold out here. This, this here, that would have been the emergency escape hatch. So if anything would have happened with the plane, as you can see, it would have been where you would have jumped down with your parachute. So that's a pretty awesome point. So I'm going to venture to the back of the plane now. I mean, you couldn't imagine just keep climbing all over this stuff all day. I mean. This is literally, you've got to climb over that big metal thing all the time. I mean, it's, it's hot in here. I mean, this thing is insulated and it's a hot day, to be fair. And it's just a bit sweating. So, now we're coming into the living quarters. So, this is where the uh, crew would have slept. So, you'd have had beds like here. There's a couple of bunk beds there. So, that's where they would have slept. I mean, I couldn't imagine sleeping in a plane like that with it bloody barrel rolling all over the place. And God knows what I'd fall out. Uh, you know, you've got a bit of kitchen area, there's a sink, I think that's, I think this is an old microwave or some kind of oven, I'm not too sure, and there's like different, I don't know what that is, I not really got a clue, uh, so carry on through here, you've got the, this is where they would have kept all the illuminating flares, it's for like emergencies and stuff I'm guessing, I'm not too sure about that one, oh the bloody hell, that floor ain't very safe. Uh, down here, this is quite interesting. So that's the uh, all the mechanisms and all the gears and stuff which control the uh, the big shutter doors which are underneath the uh, plane which let the bombs down. So that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, yeah. You see down here, there's one of the windows. It's pretty awesome. Now. Down here, there's not really much to see down here because it is. I haven't really got a torch on me, but this is where they would have kept all the ammunition and stuff here. So, like above here, this is where the ammunition cartridge boxes would have been. And uh, these hatches here, I'm not too sure what these hatches are to be fair, but you couldn't imagine. Just... Oh, so that there is another uh, where they would have had another gun or maybe a lookout or something like that, and there would have been a gun at the back. So that's uh, pretty awesome. In fact, I'm sure I did say about. I'm going to climb through here. Oh god! Gives you the perspective of what it would be like to be a uh, in the war. No, I thought it would have been. Uh, in fact, it smells like something's dead in here. But I'm going to get out of here, and it's bloody hot. Oh Jesus! God! I'll tell you what the. Jesus Christ. Oh. I'll tell you one thing, I couldn't be an RAF pilot. Jesus Christ. Not only is it hot in here, but it's got, you've got to be like a bloody hamster. Jesus Christ. So that's the uh, footage. Sadly Jules couldn't come up here and do it herself, but I hope you enjoyed this bit of footage. So I'll hand you back over now to back to Jules. So I'll be back down in a bit. I um, hope you like Dill's uh, intro inside the plane. Now I'm going to go to the next plane now. Right, here's the other plane, but there isn't much left of this one. Dill has tried to open the top of it, but it's absolutely stuck. It's rusted. I will show you the back end of this plane when I walk round. There's the back end of that plane, I'll just show you. Over here there's an abandoned caravan, nothing in that though, a cabin. Now there is stuff inside here where I'm going now.
think we'll uh, see if we can head off over Lovely. to the uh, drag strip now. So I'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, there's some nice. things in here. Uh, it's absolutely full of pigeon shit. It's been a bit trashed. Just some old tools on the bench. Car doors. So I'll move on to the next location. Right, this was the calf for the uh, drag strip. Ah, oh, you got hot sandwiches, bacon, sausage, bacon and egg, sausage and egg, sausage and cheese. Oh, I'm gonna wait till it's open. I am a bit peckish. No. This would have been where they kept uh, some of the stuff for the cars and things like that. There's a medical centre over there actually and exploring with Lee has ripped his leg open on a bramble as you can see and we're just wondering if they've got any plasters in there. Be a bonus if they have. 20 W50, I mean what the hell would you put that in? Jesus Christ, that's like you wouldn't put that in a car surely. Unless it was like an old 60s car or something. Cooking oil and stuff for that calf over there. Toilets for the um, people watching the drag strip. Right, I am going to uh, get up this sta stadium where they sit. The drag strip. I think, I don't know if there's a new caravan here. We're not 100% if somebody's staying in there. Um, I'll check it out. The doors open. The actual waste of a nice oh, wow. caravan. I mean, this, these things are worth quite a bit of money, to be fair. And it looks like this one has literally been left. Bit of an old van. Oh, there's some DVDs. Well, we have got a torch because there is, it's actually full of, it's full of stuff. I mean, usually we do houses, but this technically you could class this as a house. So I think we'll have a quick look around here. So I'll get my torch out. Mal TV, Nokia, DVD players. Bloody hell! Like this. this is crazy. It's you know, a bit of a bit of an old caravan, but there is rats in it. Oh, the cups. DVDs. Oh wow, well, I like that. That's cool. That is. Uh, lock, stock, and barrel. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty cool. Woman. I like that. That's a sick glass. Oh wow, I like that. Awesome. Sailor. Oh, Ferry or it's something like spiced. That's a nice uh, bottle. And that one there. That, just left in here. that is pretty cool, that bottle. There's uh actually there's DVDs down there. Everything, everything Everything's just been left. The there's a mirror. <laughs> yeah. yeah don't Oh wow, microwave and everything. Oh dear, it's a full set up. Yeah, I'm look at these. Ah, full cans of carving. Wow. Be yeah. There's bloody beer and everything that's left. <laughs> Should we get drunk? Shall we? Should we just open the beer? We've got a telly. Yeah, there's a uh, anchor chili. There's a few spiders. Lemon and lime. Mm. Oh, that's Looks of, uh, nice. Then we're up for a bit of vodka, a shot of vodka in there. A bit of lighting so you can Absolutely see those. Drunk. Bit of Captain Morgan's. Uh, glasses. Oh wow, a lot. Now a lot that. Bit of Halloween uh, stuff. That's cool, Lee. I oh, know, I've seen that. I like that. Well, I know what this was. More kettle. Got knives, everything. Everything's just been left. Even the lighter to light the gas cooker. Shame we haven't got the bacon. 
Well, you could get drunk in here, have sex. We have bacon, bacon sandwich. There ain't bacon in here. No, but we could do a bacon sandwich, everything's set. There's even paper plates, vodka. Oh, wow. Well. No, the vodka. Vodka. That's empty. Do not go in that toilet. Yeah, wow. Bloody hell. That's a big woman's uh, hearing. Jesus Christ, look at that, Lee. You know what sort of game in here, Yeah, yeah. Uh, cooker. Another couple of our TVs. I'm scared of opening something and seeing Wow, around. a Dyson Hoover. There's a Dyson Hoover. Anything in these? Not really. Which is the toilet. Bloody hell, even the mattress is left. Bloody hell. This is crazy, guys. It's a wonder this hasn't been trashed, quite honest. No, that's the toilet in there, guys. I'm not opening that one. Oh, is this the toilet? Which is the toilet, guys? Which one? That one. I didn't look in the other door because it's only going to be a storage room. Is it that one? No, that's the shower room. That one, what you got your hand on is the toilet. Oh, no. Oh, God, yeah, there's rats in there, guys. I'm not, I'm not into in there. I'll have another look in here, in this bedroom. That's pretty mint, that mattress, actually. And it looks like it's a really expensive mattress. I'll see if there's anything in gas. But I think there'd be anything in the wardrobe's quite honest. No, it's pretty empty. Whether they'll let this caravan out it's for the drag strips, I don't know. No, there is uh, candles. So you can guess what's been going on in here, guys. Pretty empty. Oh, I don't think there's anything. Nothing in here. Right, I'll move on to the uh, drag strip. Go on. So right. then, welcome to my caravan. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a party tonight. Today we've got uh, this lovely Malibu. It's been here for a couple of years and it's matured lovely. And um, for afters we've got a uh, bottle of vodka. I mean, sadly there ain't enough because I drunk it myself. And uh, to finish the night we've got this lovely bottle of Captain Morgan's which has gone... Well, I don't know, what's it smell like? Is that a smell? Oh God, that smells Strong. good. So uh, yeah, we're open at 10 o'clock, so pop round and we'll get the party started and we've also got some condoms.